Apologies for the shakiness. I'm trying to do this one-handed. Here is the EG4 waterproof uh, battery. And right now it is in some type of protect mode because no voltage or anything is coming out of it. You cannot even connect to it via the app. So if I take a voltage reading across the battery, as you can see here in DC, we are getting absolutely nothing. 0 0.017 that's pretty much nothing take it off pretty much 0, 0.00 so since i can't connect to it via the app what i'm going to try to do is jump the battery and bring it out of protect mode or bring it back to life in order to do that you need something that's going to cost or has somewhere around like 48 volts or so so this charger cannot do it because i think what it does is it checks to see if a voltage is there so when you connect it nothing happens it says it's a bad battery so what we're going to try to do is use this life power 4 battery to jump this battery and bring it back to life what we have here is a positive and negative lead coming out of it the positive kind of goes to this pre-charged resistor it's a 25 watt 30 ohm resistor uh, we have it connected to pretty much these cables and we have it connected to these uh alligator clips right or jumper style clips so what we're going to do is connect it here connect the other side here right and we're going to flip the switch real quick and then hopefully it puts just enough power onto it so that it brings it back to life so let's take a stab at it here let's see All right, so it looks like it did go through that pre-charge and startup cycle. Let's go ahead and take this off of here. Let's see if the battery has come back to life. We're gonna go take this multimeter here, grab it again. Let's see what happens. If I take a voltage reading from here to here, huh, we still got nothing. Nothing here, and then also nothing here. So that obviously did not work. Let's try this again. What happens if I leave it on here just long enough, right? So let me put this here, put this back on here. Let's hit this power switch again. It did go up through the cycle. Let's see what happens if I take a reading across here. What happens? Here we go. So right now, look, it, we're at 52. 50. So it looks like the voltage is definitely reading across there. It just doesn't seem like that's enough to bring it back to life, right? So it's hopping around somewhere between 52 to 45 volts. If I take, if I hit the power switch off of here, and take the reading again, let's see what happens. See, now we're at nothing. So what, we're, what I'm going to try to do next is to connect the charger here and then keep it connected such that it can start charging the battery and then maybe that it will be uh, connected long enough to just keep the battery charging. So let me get that connected here real quick and we'll be right back. All right, so you can see right here, we have the charger connected, the flashing red and green, which pretty much means no good or bad battery. And we have it connected here. And this is something I highly recommend you not do. This is just dangerous, just don't do it, all right? We're just here to test to figure this out and see if we can bring it back to life. Let's hit this switch. And you hear the fan spun up and now it seems to be charging or it's pushing something, right? So uh, since that's going, what happens if I turn this off? Let's just see what happens. So let's see if there's power being supplied to this battery now by the charger i mean um sorry trying to all do this thing one-handed probably recipe for disaster but you know let's just be safe look now we're actually got 54 volts being applied to the battery sorry for the glare or 45 volts being applied to the battery here right while this eg4 life power 4 battery is off so that means this battery is now being charged by this charger because as you can see, it's blinking red. So uh, maybe the battery died because we just ran it dead, but it ran into some type of protect mode. So I'm not sure what the deal was. Gonna go ahead and try to see if I can log into the app to figure out if it is connected or if it's charging or see what the app says. Let's go take a look. All right, so here we are in the app. Let's see if we can find this battery because we couldn't find it previously because it was just dead before. I think it ends or starts with the Z and ends with the 482. 
Let's see if we can connect here. Ah, look at that. We are now connected. Previously, it wasn't connecting at all, but now it's connecting. So it seems like the battery voltage is uber low considering it's at 45 point something. So this battery pretty much ran dead. I would highly recommend do not let it run dead because that's probably bad for the battery. But, you know, in some cases it's unavoidable. So it looks like the battery voltage is going up. So that's a good thing. We'll have to go ahead and charge this guy up and make sure that it continues working. <laughs> 